What's up, folks? Dr. Grizz here with another beer and vape pairing. Uh, recording this on Saturday the 7th for Sunday the 8th. I think 8th. No. Tomorrow's the 8th. Today's the 7th. Sunday the 8th. Uh, upload. <clears throat> reason I, I'm doing it ahead of time is because I'm going to be busy as fuck tomorrow. So I'm going to do it now while I have time. So what do we have here? Well, before we start, because, you know, it's become a tradition, I'm going to have to buy another bottle. Of, look at that. Just, this is just from doing reviews, guys, because I'm doing one every day. Oh, my God. Pretty much one every day. I went all Friday without doing one. Just a little, little halfy, little halfy shot to get the party started. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Here we go. That's good. I've actually started mixing my juices, and it's turning out pretty good. Right now, in this, in the rebirth, right now, I've got a little bit. Of the banana cream pie mixed with a little bit of the butterscotch reserve and man it is going real good I'm I'm enjoying it uh, with enthusiasm with enthusiasm I think it's gonna go with what we're trying today and what we're trying today is an oldie but a goodie it's been a while for a while. In fact, the first time I had this was when I was living in Wyoming back in 02, 03, somewhere around that area. For some reason, I can't remember if it was 02, 03. But whatever, who cares? Uh, and uh, it was good then, and it's still good today, so... But I've never tried it with vape, so here's some Belgian, new Belgian fat tire. Ah, uh, Belgian style ale. Just a pretty good Belgian style ale. Very serviceable beer. Very serviceable beer. I should not be slurring my words yet. I have only had one beer. 5.2% uh, alcohol. So, in this, see, 5.2% is one of those hard ones because <clears throat> technically a lightweight could have one of these. It could have one of these. But it's not... It, I wouldn't say it's meant for the children's. And it's not crushable. It's not in crushable... Well, kind of... A cru crushable territory for me, because I'm a heavyweight, is anywhere between 4.2, you know, or uh, under 5.5. So under 5.5 for me is still crushable. Like, I can have four or five of them. It's so long as I'm not driving anywhere or going anywhere or doing anything. You know what I mean? I, You know, if I'm not driving anywhere, I could do, like, four or five of these. Uh... <clears throat> But lightweights, it, it, stick to one or two and don't drive. You know what I mean? So it's not, it, it's on my scale of not for children or not for people who have something to do later. Th this is a, like right that little in between. 5.2 is one of them hard ones. It's kind of hard to hard to nail down. But either way, uh, very serviceable, uh, kind of an amber ale. It's a Belgian style ale, but it's it kind of, in my, my recollection of it is more like an amber ale. Well, let's give it a pour and see how I, if my memory serves me correctly in my new Sam Adams glass. Look at that. Because I realize I don't have a glass for proper loggers. And, you know, I, I do do loggers every now and again on the channel. So I got me a, a glass for loggers. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to drink through the head like a man. That's right, folks. Drink through the head like a man. Now, this is supposed to be a pint glass, but I don't think it's a full pint. Full pint is 16 ounces, which means it's supposed to be able to hold 16 ounces of beer. And it's barely being able to hold 12. So, but then again, I'm filling half the glass with head. But to me, that looks fucking gorgeous. That looks gorgeous. And I'm going to have to drink through the head like a man. It, now, it's not, not cloudy because it's not... It's, it, it's not what you would call an unfiltered or even really a craft beer. More a premium beer. Like a premium beer. Not quite in the same realm as like a Budweiser. But not quite in the same... Kind of in the same realm as a Sam Adams. It's like a Sam Adams. It's not quite craft beer. Or micro brew. But it's not quite, you know, mass produced fucking Budweiser crap. Right, you know what I mean? So... 
Uh, fat tire. Let's give it a try. See if uh, it tastes as good as I remember it. And that it does. Clean, malty, complex. A lot of bold flavors in there. Getting a little nutmeg on there, like like almost a touch of nutmeg, probably from the malt. <clears throat> I'm not sure how they malt this, but you know this is this is a uh, this is a good easy Sunday drink, a Sunday beer, a good Sunday beer. To watch your footballs with, you know what I mean? You know, sit around and watch your footballs with, it, and it's not so so crazy that like you can only have one and then be like, yeah, I don't want another one of those. Like you can, hey, that's why it's like, 5.2 percent. It's still Technically in crushable territory, you know, you could do four or five of these in a sitting Just don't drive afterwards. All right So let's pair uh, so first up is the the half banana cream pie and half uh, butterscotch reserve That went good. That went good. Those earthy tones that come from the malt on this worked really well with the nutty earthy tones that come from the, the reserve. The Because that's got a little hint of tobacco in there. Like an earthy, nutty tobacco, sweet tobacco, Cubano style tobacco on there. And then with a the little bit of banana hint on there, it's like, it's almost like the original Blue Moon. The original. The original Blue Moon, not not that fake shit that they sell nowadays, because that's not the real shit. People want to argue with me on that one. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I'll fucking because I remember the original one and it was fucking delicious. It was one of the most it was one of the most delicious fucking beers I had ever tasted. Then they changed the fucking recipe and now it's fucking garbage. Changed the re recipe three times actually, and now it's, it went from greatest beer to. Yeah, that's all right. To, this is garbage. To I would never even, even if someone handed me one for free, I would never drink it. I would be like, no, you take that away. I would consider it an insult if you hand me a fucking blue moon at this point. I'd, I'll, I'll take a fucking natty ice. Thanks a lot. With that flavor profile, yeah, that's working. That's working real good. That's working real good. I highly recommend that. Let's try something else. Let's uh, do, um, we got the fruit basket still. Oh, no, no. Actually, I don't have fruit basket in this. I forgot what I have in this. Buzzy, no. I think it's the, actually, yeah, it is the fruit basket that I got in this. It's the, um, uh. hold on. Yeah, fruit basket. All right, strawberry, pomegranate, coconut. <clears throat> to go with my fat tire, new Belgian style ale. New Belgium. Brood can in Colorado. All right. All right, so it's the new Belgian style. It's the new Belgian company. Belgian style ale. I have a small gripe with that because it doesn't taste like a Belgian. This, this tastes like an amber ale or an, uh, an amber lager. That's what it tastes like to me. And I know be my beers. I once had an argument with someone about that. It's like, no, this doesn't taste like a Belgian style beer. Maybe the way they brewed it is in the Belgian style, but it tastes like a it tastes like a lager to me. It tastes like an amber lager. I mean it's flavorful. I like it. It just But this coconuts are going the coconuts are going with it. Yeah, that flavor profile works. Like, if this was available, and this is all I had on me, I'd be okay with this mixture. I would be okay with that mixture. What else we got? Well, I guess the fruity. Uh, something fruity, which is like a fruit medley. Blueberries, strawberries, mangoes, shit like that. Bunch, bunch of fruit. 
a whole bunch of fruits. Give it a shot. Look at that. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. They don't. Just like the last one, they work, but the one doesn't elevate the other, and the other doesn't elevate the one. And what we look for, what I look for, is for the two to what they're both great on their own, but when you put them together, it makes something magical. And so far, we only have one winner on that, and that's this. But I think that's because that fucking Cubano with the banana cream pie in it is like fucking dead on, and this is like a good, this is a good. Uh, amber lager, in my opinion. I don't call consider it a Belgian beer, Belgian style beer, but I, it, I could I could be wrong. It just doesn't taste like what I expect out of a Belgian style lager or Belgian style beer, Belgian style ale. It's not what I expect out of that. But the two of these together work fantastically, and that's what we look for here. And that does go good together. So guys, stop smoking shit that tastes like ass. Start vaping shit like what I just did. Pair it with some delicious beers. It's that simple. Instead of, instead of holding out and saying, Oh, I only smoke when I drink. Well, why don't you vape when you drink? Because when you vape when you drink, it fucking it becomes like a fucking party in your mouth. Rather than a bunch of shit in your mouth, you know? Stop smoking shit that tastes like ass. Because fucking cigarettes taste like ass. They taste shit. They taste like shit. Pair with some delicious beers. Because life's too short to drink shitty beer and smoke shitty cigarettes. And those are going to make your life even shorter. Love you guys.